Freeness Choral Guide Episode 0 VLAN and Bridging. This is Freeness Choral, or some of you might refer to as Freeness 10. Today it's just a quick introduction about what VLAN does and how to set it up. The second step explains why you would also need bridging and how to bridge. I try to summarize what VLAN is for very quick. Imagine you would like to have a bunch of computers and some of them shall be connected to switch A, some of them to switch B and so on. Imagine you would want to have lots of switches, getting really expensive and lots of cables. With VLAN you can rebuild those kinds of setups without the need for additional switches or cables or network interface cards. VLAN IDs represent the IDs of every physical network or switch it connects to. Usually, you also give those IDs a name for better understanding and remembering. Let's assume we have three kinds of networks. A private network with VLAN ID 5, VoIP for IP phones with VLAN ID 21, and Internet for, um, for example, cable or DSL modems. This VLAN will get VLAN ID 22. Let's have a look at the command line interface. We switch to network and an interface context and let's have a quick look. You can see it's ALC0. This is the physical network interface card. There is only one network card inside the computer. And then I already created a VLAN0 and bridge2. This is the private net. When we have a look into VLAN0, it says VLAN tag 5. We would also need an additional network interface, which is for IP phones. It's VoIP VLAN ID 21. Let's create such an interface. Type VLAN, enabled yes. Description is VoIP. And we need to disable IPv6 for security purposes, not because IPv6 is insecure, but because we don't want an IP address at this interface at all. Yes. And then we say VLAN parent, which is crucial, it's ALC0. And VLAN tag is 21. All right. Especially on VM hosts, you often need VLAN. For every VLAN, you get a virtual cable that plugs into a VM guest. But since it's a cable, it can only be connected to exactly one host. That's why you would also need a virtual switch. What those switches do is also referred to as bridging. And now we create such a bridge. Or again, create type bridge enabled. Yes. And for this bridge, we actually assign IP addresses if we would like the um, VM host to have one. The FreeNAS system doesn't need to be addressed within the VoIP network. This is why we don't give him an IP address. So disable yes and description it's VoIP bridge members this is crucial and now we can interrupt this process because I don't know which VLAN ID it is, it's VLAN 1. So once again, bridge members, it's VLAN 1. All right, there we have our bridging interface. Let's do this process once again for the internet connection for VLAN ID 22. Create, type bridge, no, I'm sorry. Type VLAN, enabled, yes, description, IPv6 disable yes VLAN parent again ALC0 and VLAN tag is 22 we might want to connect several VMs to this network where the modem is connected to um, that's why we would also create a bridge Um, tab IPv6 enabled, no, disabled, yes. And what else? DHCP, no. Bridge members, it might be VLAN 2, I guess.
Yeah, that's it. So we have bridge four, which is connected to VLAN two, which again is being uh, utilizing ARC zero. And then we have bridge three, which is being connected to VLAN one for, this is uh, the VoIP network. And again, utilizing ALC zero. And here we're going to take a quick look into, just a second, take a quick look into how to assign those interfaces to the VM. Let's take a PFSense demo. And we already have a LAN interface, which is connected to bridge two. And VAN, it's bridge three, if I remember correctly. And that's it. Save. And now if we would start this machine, it would have a connection. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, leave a thumbs up and subscribe, please.